Hey guys, what's up? Um, so I've kind of seen this on YouTube a little bit where when people get mail in that they are going to just take clips and put them together. So I'm going to try. Um, I haven't really had a haul this month specifically because I am in two different Secret Santas or well, one Secret Santa and then um, my friend and I from the UK, she and I just do a gift exchange. So literally almost everything I've gotten has been for them and my friend watches my YouTube channel and the girl that I got the Secret Santa stuff for recently just subscribed to my channel. So I was going to do like a um let's um package or like I'm going to show you guys how I package stuff like I send out and I was going to use the gifts but I realized I can't do that or you know what I might as well just even put this up um as like a filler in between stuff as I'm waiting for stuff to get in and everything just so there's some content on the channel I don't really know but I got these things in the mail today and they are for me so I wanted to just open them on camera to show everyone what I have real quick and I'm really excited for this because it's a trade that I honestly thought was lost in the mail and I'm so happy that I can actually tell this girl that it is not lost in the mail. I have it um, because she felt super bad and I wasn't gonna, I'm not blaming her or anything. The mail system is so bad, but I'm so excited because it is the Everglow card that I needed. Here's the front and the back. I don't even wanna take it out of the card protector. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. I'm gonna tell her after I put this up today or just like after. Um, I feel my, I'm sorry, like, I sound like such a mess because I can't decide what I want to do, but I am so relieved that this is here. Maybe my other trade that I thought got lost in the mail will come. This was from Singapore. I don't know if anyone else in the U.S. is having this issue, but, oh, that's so, so much glare. When you, um, trade or send something to another country, it's like, they got, they both got mine that I sent. But I, I just received the one from Singapore. But I didn't, oops, I didn't get um, the one from Germany. So this is actually um, stuff I got myself. Um, it is Joy, go figure. And it is from Bayi, not sponsored. But I do buy a ton of stuff from Bayi off of um, my crane now. I think that's everything up yep. okay so this is actually a bunch of, like we separated everything really nicely so now we have definitely looks like I have more stuff now doesn't it <laughs> instead of just um two envelopes so you know what maybe I will post this today because I am blabbering a bit all right um you know what let's start with this because I have a feeling what it is and I'm super excited um if it is that I am definitely afraid of ripping these though because these are so rare and when I actually pull them out and you see what they are, um, if you collect red velvet, you'll know why I'm like so afraid to rip these. Here we go. Ah, so excited. Okay. Uh, so I'm giving everyone, including myself, a heart attack real quick here. You, all right. There we go. Carefully. Carefully. I like can never unbox things nicely on camera, but then when I'm not on camera, it's a lot nicer for some reason. Okay, here we go. So, their pack is very nice. It's Joy's Ice Cream Gig Era postcard set. These are so hard to find. Like, ugh. They're so hard to find. I'm just so happy that I got them. I honestly thought I was never going to get them. Like, I know before in a previous video, I said I wasn't going to be buying myself stuff. So I'm going to clarify that the only reason I bought anything is because it was mostly Joy's rare stuff that I've been looking for for a really long time. And when I saw it, I just didn't want to pass up the opportunity that it gave me to get them. Because a lot of this stuff is hard to find. Um, we'll do this package next. So here's a here's a tip. If you guys want to use um, scissors or like a letter opener to open your stuff. Always feel around for where like the top 
of the um, packaging for the cards are so that you can cut up here safely without having to worry about cutting anything. I don't I don't know if people actually like needed that advice or tip, but I just always want to try to help if I can. And this is really in there really well. I think I cut some of the letter. Or no, it's not a letter. All right. Where is it? Nope. Oh, but that's so cute. The little letter that they did. I'm sorry. I cannot read um, kanji. I did take a class in college, but I can't read it. But thank you so, so much. This is really cute. Um, thank you. I don't think this will ever see this, but thank you very much. So I got Joy's... 2018 seasons greeting photo card set her calendar cards which i kind of miss sm doesn't do these anymore so here they are so those are going to be great in my binder um so i did want opinions again i always want opinions aren't you all just so lucky that you watch my videos if you've been here for a really long time i'm sorry how much i blabber um, we'll go with this one. Feel around. Here we go. All right. Really quick. I'm trying not to reveal any addresses, but, um, so those, ah, are there season screen cards? Okay. So the, um, other video photo card trend I've noticed is when people are organizing their binders and everything. So would you guys like me to wait? To put these away until I receive the stuff that I'm also waiting on for the Secret Santa because we are supposed to be sending stuff out soon. I don't know when my friend. Oh, this stresses me out so much. Okay, hold on. Hold that thought as I like struggle to not damage these cards really quick. Ooh. So, pro tip if you're sending in a top loader, please try. Okay, there's no scratches. We're good. What about this one? Oh, thank God. Okay. Almost had a heart attack. Um, if you're sending in top loaders, try to put like a protective sleeve or something on them just because it's really easy for them, even when they're protected from like outside vents and stuff in the top loader to get scratches on them, which I was lucky enough that these didn't get scratches. Here are the backs. Whew. Um, anyway, to complete the thought, if you wanted me to do a video of putting stuff away, organizing, I did read you some of my binders, like stuff that I have in them. Um, all right, we'll do this one. Or should I just do one of me just putting these away or just put them away themselves? Here we go. So this is probably the reason that I actually started this. Her Espor card, so pretty. There we go, and then the last package was, no, this was actually the reason. I know exactly what these are, and this was actually the reason why I even started on this Joy Buying Spree after I said I wasn't going to. Always appreciate nice packaging, however, it takes me forever to get this type of tape off. Here we go. Open it. Yes. So this is her set of the red Polaroids, um, which are also pretty hard to find. So the seller did say like, they had some damage and were dirty, but they honestly don't look bad to me. Like they look like they're fine. I appreciate the packaging. They look like they're okay to me, so I'm... It's a little bit of a bend, but not too much. I'm honestly really happy with this. Yeah. I'm content. I'm really happy to have these. So that was my um, little mini haul of everything, even though I said I was just going to um, be doing clips. I think I'm just going to post this separately, because I did get um, quite a bit of stuff that I had forgotten. I had so much stuff in the big envelope. So, um yeah so just tell me your opinion do you want me to do that where i like 
put all of these away in my binder? Should I wait for when I get all the stuff from the two Christmas packaging, the not Christmas packages that I'm doing? Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.